Study basers. One of the most powerful learning tools that musicians have is the metronome. But its real teaching strength is not what a lot of people expect. First, in case you don't know what a metronome is, it's a device that clicks at specific time intervals, and they're measured in beats per minute. So you might set your metronome at 60 beats per minute, giving you one click per second. Or if you set it at 120, it would be two clicks each second. So most metronomes let you choose tempos anywhere from around 40 beats per minute to around 200 beats per minute. Now, if you don't have a metronome, get one. I suggest a few models on the website, and there's a free online metronome in the tools section of studybase.com. Music teachers often tell their students to practice with a metronome. Why? Well, most commonly, teachers want students to use their metronomes to learn rhythmic things like maintaining a steady pulse or learning how to count rhythms. Now, these are important things to learn, and I think the metronome helps with them, but the metronome is much more powerful than just being a tool for improving your rhythm. Where the metronome really shines is as a memory aid. When you understand this, you're going to get a lot out of your metronome and your practice time. When you use the metronome, its consistent pace puts a little time pressure on you that forces you to think ahead. When you try to memorize something, a scale, arpeggio, a song, and you play freely, what happens is you slow down and hesitate when you're unsure of what's next. When you are comfortable with what's next, you speed up. I've literally watched students do this thousands of times. Now, these hesitations might be long or they might be very short. They, they might even be imperceptible to you, but they're still there. So using the metronome helps you overcome these memory hesitations. The metronome paces you and gets your mind actively thinking ahead. Thinking ahead is an essential part of playing music. So most of the time you're playing one thing while you're imagining and planning to play the next thing. So you're thinking about the next beat or the next bar or maybe even further down the road. And in a lot of life's activities, having everything memorized is not absolutely critical. For instance, if, if you don't remember a math formula, you can go look it up. But in music, it's all based in time. So when you're in the middle of a song, you don't have the luxury of pausing to go look up how to play a B minor 7 flat 5 chord. You just have to have that memorized. A common struggle for musicians is just the sheer amount of stuff that we all have to memorize. So there's so much that you need to have at your fingertips. There's scales and arpeggios and keys and rhythms and complete songs, different styles and notes on the fingerboard. Just the list goes on forever. Now, to be a good musician, you need to have a lot of things just stone cold memorized. There's no time for hesitating. When I ask students to use their metronomes, it's more often about developing stronger memories and developing them more quickly than it is about developing rhythm. So to me, the metronome's most powerful use is as a memory aid. So let's go through an example of using the metronome as a memory aid. So you can apply this to almost any musical learning situation, but let's just use a simple example of learning an unfamiliar scale. So let's use the D minor pentatonic scale. So one octave, and it's going to use the notes D, F, G, A, C, and the octave D. What you want to do is start at the slowest pace you need to so that you play all of the correct notes with all of the correct fingers. The goal is to play the notes correctly at a consistent pace, no matter how slow. So turn on your metronome and start at a very slow tempo. To use your metronome at a pace slower than the lowest tempo, count multiple clicks in between your notes. So if you have it set to 60 and count two clicks as one beat, then you're playing at a pace of 30 beats per minute. But even 30 beats per minute is too fast for our new scale. So let's try playing every four clicks, and that works out to a pace of 15 beats per minute. 
take your time. You can't start too slowly. So if you have time to make a sandwich in between notes, that's fine. Just the first goal is to get it right. Give yourself plenty of time to think about the next note. D F G A C D and so on. Again, we're not focused on rhythm here. What you're doing is setting a thinking pace your rate of thought, your rate of recall. You're learning to think ahead to the next note and which finger to use. So it's not an exercise about rhythmic perfection, it's about the speed of thought. Now when you have it correct at this snail's pace, gradually increase the tempo. So go to 62, then 64, and so on. Now if it feels too easy, it's fine if you go in larger increments. When you get to 120 on the metronome, cut it back to 60 and play every two clicks instead of every four. And then when you hit 120 again, go back to 60 and play it on every click. So if you're making a lot of mistakes, uh, go back and slow it down. So this was just a simple example. You might not practice something this slowly or gradually. It really just depends on what you're trying to memorize. But the principle is the same. When you use your metronome this way uh, as a pace setter, at whatever speed, you're ironing out those little hesitations. Because of the consistent click of the metronome, your mind is encouraged to think of that next coming note more quickly. So the pressure of that click tells your brain, this is an important memory we always need at hand. Make this a stronger memory. I see students struggling to memorize things all of the time. And I explain this metronome principle to them and when they start using their metronome this way, they start memorizing things at a much faster rate. So again, there's so much to memorize in music. It's an essential part of playing well. To grow as a musician, you need to become a master of your memory. So realize that the metronome isn't just a rhythm tool, it's a powerful memory aid. <laughs>